Welcome back to my channel, No Fraud Productions. This is E, and today I'd like to introduce something new that I want to start doing on a consistent basis. So with today, I'm going to start a new series that I like to call Sneaks and Beats. So with that being said, I like to incorporate my love of sneakers and my love of beats and music, beat making and music. So I want to pick a shoe out of my collection and then make a beat to that shoe, make it correlate, make the beat correlate to the shoe, whether it's through the colorway, through the name of the shoe, through the year that the shoe came out, or something in that nature. So I like to start this episode off, which is episode one, with none other than the Jordan one that persuaded Michael Jordan to sign with Nike in the first place. So with that being said, on today's episode of Sneaks and Beats, I like to start it off with the Air Jordan 1, Chicago, Lost and Founds. Now this shoe right here dropped a few years ago, so I'm not going to go into a full detail review of the shoe um, a couple years back, but this shoe, when it did drop, it shut down the sneakers app it was kicking people out of the sneakers app you had to re-enter your whole pay the way you pay your bank your cards everything so this shoe dropped it just shut down the whole sneakers app and then they restocked the shoe on 420 and that's when i hit my pair but it it, it brought, shook up the internet that time too and sneakers app it was a hard time getting in you wouldn't let you allow you to put your payment in, but somehow I was able to hit for retail on the restock of these when they did it on 420, so uh, I believe of last year. So yeah, this is a dope shoe. This is the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds, you know, based on the Chicago model. The way they put this out was to be as a vintage shoe that was left in a shoe box for 30 years or so since they first came out unfound so that's why it's supposed to look all you know crackly around the top the um the midsole looks a little aged just a little crackly on the toe box but um yeah very dope shoe very sought after shoe i'm lucky i'm glad to be able to hit it for retail because i believe these were up for like 400 to 500 dollars i'm not too sure the retail value of them now but very dope shoe so this is the chicago one Jordan one um, lost and found so since I'm using this shoe I'm gonna make a beat out of a Chicago artist I'm a sample a Chicago artist so I had to think about you know what some of my favorite Chicago artists and a few came to mind very quick you know so it was definitely Curtis Mayfield was like number one like sampling wise but then I also thought of Jerry Butler now, I'm a huge Jerry Butler fan. I love all of the samples, you know, that people used over the years. Some of my favorite songs are Jerry Butler samples, like if The Game, Dream, Method Man, Bring the Pain, Dilla, Use It, and You Love. So, just thinking about that, I was like, you know what? I want to put my twist on that sample just because I really love you by Jerry Butler. So... And plus, I have a whole bunch of Jerry Butler records anyway, so it was just kind of easy for me to pick that because I had a, a lot of source material to sample from. So I just went through, had the record for that. I found it, and um, let me show you what I did. So I went through my record collection, found the record, uh, Jerry Butler, The Iceman Cometh. Very dope album, a lot of good songs on here. You'll hear a lot of your favorite samples on this album right here. Um, has Just Because I Really Love You on here. So I said I'm going to use this. I found this at a record shop. I believe I was in Manhattan at a record shop. I can't remember the name. It's been so many years ago. I got it for like $8.99. When I saw it, I was like, I definitely got to have this record in my collection. It was an original press too, so I was excited to get it. So yeah, I said, let me get this record, pull it out, and use that just because I really love you song. Because that is my favorite donut of Jay Dilla's Donuts album. So check it out. Let me show you what I did, how I put the beat together, 
and we'll go from there. Okay, so I sampled it. I'm going to be using MPC Studio with this one. Just sampled the couple section of the beat of the song to make the beat. I took this section of the song and YouTube don't have me with no copyrights. I'm just playing a little portion of the song, so be cool with that. Just because I really love you. I let you treat me. I use that part. I use the beginning part. That. Um, I had a couple other sections I use. Oh, that was the other one again. Did I what I do with that right here, maybe? Just because I now that was a little bit sped up. But I use another section of it as well. Just because I Just because I Well, I used that in a few other sections, so when I tuned it up a little bit, chopped it up, and I came, I had these parts. That's a little off, but uh, whatever, yeah. Um, and then I had this part also I used. Just let you make me sad. So pretty much I had that. I wanted that to be like the intro to the beat. So I just chopped that up, put a, some drums o over it, and this is what I came up with. Alright, then it goes into this other section of the beat. Where I just chopped up this part, gave it a nice little swing, and I chopped up a couple other parts to put it on to break up the monotony of that. So it's like. Another section where it's very similar but at the end turnaround of the fourth bar before it goes back into the intro or the break it's a little different so it's this right here So the beat sounds like this together. Well, hold on, let me just, let me play the drums for you a little bit. So the drums are real simple, none too crazy. Boom bap. So put that together. Nothing too complicated. Still need to throw it in logic. 
drop some stuff out, add some stuff to it, add a bass over it, add a bass to it, add a few other things to it. But in a nutshell, that's the beat right there. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sneaks and Beats. And if so, consider subscribing to the channel because I do make content based on sneakers, music, and books on occasion. So if you like any one of those things or all three of those things or any combination of those things, consider subscribing to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. If you do have a favorite Jerry Butler song or you do have a favorite Jerry Butler sample song, let me know that in the comment section. Thanks for checking out my video. Once again, my name is E, and the channel is No Fraud Productions. Peace.